My name is Balwinder Kaur. I work in MPFT. I am the Associate Director for Equality and Inclusion. For me, being a Sikh really means valuing others and valuing yourself and being grateful and humble of the things that you've got. Sikhism is all about respect and dignity. Respect for others, those older than you, those younger than you, those that are less fortunate than you, and those that have got more than you, whether that's material goods, etc. Sikhism is a spiritual journey. It's not about the impact of your good doings or bad doings that will have an impact on the family. It's about your relationship with Waheguruji, which is the Holy Spirit. So Waheguruji in the Sikh religion is believed to be the ultimate spirit the aspiration, our journey is to join with that spirit, join at the feet of that spirit because we're not worthy of that holiness. Sikhs believe that the human form is the last form that they have. So living as a human on this earth is really important that we pay homage and we really take that spiritual journey to our Waheguruji. And this can be done through reading the scriptures and if you don't know how to read Gurmukhi Punjabi, then, you know, we will look at having priests and the Gyanis, they are called, to help and support you. Um, they will read the prayers for you and it's just as important for you to be sitting and listening to the prayers as it is for reading them. So within Sikhism, for me, the value is of equality and equity to be able to join with others in that prayer room, in that congregation, it's called Sangat, whereby each person is equal. It doesn't matter whether you are a high ranking person in, in a role or whether you're unemployed, whether you've got children or not, there's no status. You are all one and equal within the Gurdwara, within the Waheguruji's presence. Now, Sikhism also values the fact that we as Sikhs are one family. So when a child is born into a Sikh family, they are given one of the Sikh symbols for baptism. So that symbol is the Gara, which is a steel bangle, which is worn on the dominant hand. And you'll find many Sikhs will have that irrespective of whether they've taken the Amrit, which is the equivalent to baptism. And they will wear that until they're on their own individual journey. So there's no religious um, timeline, if you like, to um, actually become baptised as a fully pledged Sikh. So to join the Khalsa Panth, which is seen as the Guruji's army, so his family. What we believe is that an individual will take that journey and if they are blessed by Waheguruji through their own knowledge and understanding, they will voluntarily take that Amrit, they will take that ceremony and they will then become a baptised Sikh, so a Khalsa Sikh. Now a Khalsa Sikh is very visible um, and there is history to this. The Khalsa Panth was created by the 10th Guru, Guru Gobind Singh Ji. Now in Sikhism, we believe that our Holy Spirit, Waheguruji, sent down in human form um, 10 Gurus. And we worship those Gurus. So in that way, the way we worship them is through prayer. It's not by photographs or statues or symbols, it is through the 11th Guru, which is the Holy Book. And we believe that Waheguruji's spirit and knowledge was passed through the 10 living Gurus, and they themselves taught lots of teachings and helped write the um, Sikh scriptures, which is called the Guru Granth Sahib Ji, and that is our 11th Guru. So when Guru Gobind Singh Ji um, passed in his human form, he ordained the holy book as the 11th living guru. And when we go into the Gurdwara, that is why we always keep our heads covered as a sign of respect for our Waheguruji, our living guru. We bow down and we surrender 
to the Holy Book, to our 11th Guru, and we, we pray. Within those scriptures, there are prayers there which have been written by those um, gurus previously, but also there are poems taken from different religious groups as well to reflect and signify, signify the equality and justice that we have. Now, prayers within the Guru Granth Sahib are very many that cover an individual's life journey. So there's prayers there for good health, there's prayers there for wanting families to remain together. There's prayers for increasing one's mental well-being. And the scriptures really focus on your spiritual and mental well-being. And about that detachment from chasing worldly goods to actually chasing spiritual goods and doing those good deeds. So for me, going back to working in the NHS, it really builds on those values of Sikhism because Sikhism is about working and ha earning an honest lifestyle and living in a moderate and humble lifestyle, valuing the children you've got, the family that you have as well. And so again, that brings me back to in the NHS, we have the values of respect we look after people from all walks of life, we treat them equally and we give them equity of care and our colleagues, we give them equity of respect as our colleagues and I truly believe that it's one way, working in the NHS is one way of really achieving your spiritual journey.